Hi guys, so happy to finally be back filming for this channel. So if you watch my vlog channel, you would know that I recently moved to Sydney, Australia. It still feels so crazy saying that. I would never have seen myself in Australia. But anyways, you can go watch my vlog channel if you want to know more on why I moved here. But I've actually been here for over a month and I still haven't been to an Apple store. So that's about to change today because we're gonna go to Sydney and try to find the best Apple store. Like I have really high hopes for the Apple stores in Sydney. Like Sydney's just such a cool city. So I feel like the Apple stores are also gonna be really cool. My favorite one so far has probably been either the one in the Grub in LA. That's a really cool one. It has like such a cool ceiling. Or the one in Scottsdale, Arizona. That one's also like so pretty. But yeah, look at the city right now. It looks so pretty from here. Like you can just see it in the skyline. And that's where we're going today. We're gonna have to take a boat to get there. We're just taking a little boat on this river into Sydney. I mean, we could also take the train, but boat's funnier. So yeah, let's go. But first, boba. So good. Like, I'm literally not kidding when I say we have one of these per day, but it's so good. <laughs> So we got off the ferry and now we're walking to Apple Store. It was really pretty, like the ferry. It felt really Australian because we went like through the bushes and everything. <laughs> So the exterior of this Apple store definitely did not disappoint. It looked so cool. You could see all the different levels of the Apple store and all the people in it, which has made a really cool storefront. And I feel like it's so typical Apple to have those big walls of just clear glass. It looked really modern. And then of course the big Apple logo in the middle, which just lit up and yeah, like you definitely couldn't miss it if you walked past. So yeah, I'm so excited to walk in. So let's go. But right when you walked in, I've never seen this before, but they had like a class. I think it was for kids because there were a lot of kids there. I know Apple teaches classes, but I didn't know they did it like right in the middle of the store on a Saturday. But anyways, first impression, I absolutely love the store. I love the big glass window so you could see all the people walking past. It just gave such city vibes. But then the coolest part about this Apple store was definitely the stairs. And I think you can tell why, because this just also gave me such Apple vibes, like really modern, futuristic vibes. Like you kind of lost sense of reality when walking up these stairs, because it just made you feel like you were in a Netflix series, like kind of in Black Mirror. So yeah, this was like the part I was most excited for with this Apple store. And even the steps were made of glass. Like, everything was just made of glass. All right, but the first product I had to check out were the AirPods Max. I'm still checking these out. Like I've been considering getting these for over a year, but I still haven't gotten them just because they are real expensive. I don't know if they're worth the price, but I guess I won't know until I actually get them. But yeah, I was listening to some music in a language I absolutely did not understand, but it was pretty vibey. <laughs> And then we found more stairs. There's so many levels, like, I thought there were two levels. And then like we walk around the corner and there's another one. But apparently on the third level were only like repairs and maybe order pickups. So we just went down. And we went to look at MacBooks. I'm not thinking about getting a new MacBook for now, 
but we just wanted to compare the prices here in Australia to the US prices and Swedish prices and actually I found out the MacBook was a bit cheaper here than in Sweden. Sweden has the most expensive Apple products, like they're more expensive than in the US because of like added taxes and stuff. Here you can see they taught another class. We went to look at Apple watches because my boyfriend has decided he's getting a new Apple watch. He's currently using my old one but he wants to get an Apple Watch Ultra. So we just checked those out, talked to an Apple employee about it. Uh, you should, uh, day, uh, like, what is it, like a day in the life vlog? Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, like an Apple store vlog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one is 1,300. 1,000? Yeah. 1,300. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm like, there is a new one coming out there in September. So I'll see if this one. So what's the functions to this? If you compare so, it to... Um, to mm -hmm. uh, like this is your normal operation. The actual OS is like... Right. Uh, the only extra difference is oh. for coffee. Super expensive. Okay, yeah. For yeah, coffee, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like I've heard... It, that's insane, yeah. insane. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I personally, I would have spent more than... If it's a really good coffee, I'd pay 6 7 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Do you want to... <laughs> But yeah, as you guys probably know, a new Apple Watch Ultra is coming out really, really soon. So my boyfriend is waiting until that one comes out. And then finally, we went to check out the iPhones. Not that there's anything new really. We're just a few days away from the announcement of the iPhone 15. And I guess I'm kind of trying to make up my mind on what color I'm going to get it in. Not that any of us know which colors are going to be available, but there probably will be the most basic colors like silver, space gray, and maybe a gold and then a more fun color like purple or blue. This purple one I fell in love with, like I'm actually wishing the iPhone 15 is going to come in this color because it's so pretty. Let me know what you guys think. So yeah, I really want to get a purple iPhone 15, but I also want to get a space black one or space gray that one's just so classy it looks so good i also feel like it would just match all my outfits and then this is the silver one it's also really pretty honestly i'm considering getting this one as well as you guys can hear picking an iphone color is not easy for me <laughs> yeah then we also checked out the phone cases i just wanted to see if they had any new ones this was the only one i could find that I haven't seen before, but now that I'm re-watching this, I feel like I have seen it before. I really liked it. It was so cute. Yeah, I'll make a whole phone case shopping vlog once the iPhone 15 comes out and comparing a bunch of different brands and find the most protected ones and also the most aesthetic ones. I could finally film this teaching area a little bit better because they didn't have a class anymore. Yeah, it's pretty funny that they have this in the middle of the store. And I wonder if anyone can just pop up and like join one of these classes or if you have to like sign up let me know in the comments if you know but yeah that was it for this first apple store That was a cool Apple store, like probably the coolest thing was the stairs. But we're about to go to our second one if we're stopping at like a bunch of other stores. I want a <laughs> The 
thing. <laughs> we don't even know what we just bought, but it looks good. It's so random. Wow. Oh, it's salt. Mm. Uh, I don't know. It's so spicy. Mm -hmm. Eating apple as we're walking to apple. 15 minutes left. It was like a 40 minute walk. I don't know why I'm making us do this. We found it. It was in a mall and we had to walk like a lot. But yeah, we're finally here. This looks like a pretty basic Apple store, like just a basic mall Apple store. So we're looking for a new Apple watch for my boyfriend, but I think they're coming out with a new one in September. So we kind of want to wait with getting a new one until that one comes out because the prices will drop. This band is so pretty. A white baby blue. guys so we're back home it was so fun seeing an apple store here in sydney it was definitely one of one of the coolest ones i've seen so far so definitely stay tuned for a lot more apple store vlogs coming up and the iphone 15 is being announced in just a couple of days for iphone 15 rumors we're kind of expecting the iphone 15 to be at a similar price range as the iphone 14 was when it came out i mean i don't really see any reason for apple to increase their prices even more the design is rumored to be really similar to the iphone 14 but probably all the iphone 15 models will have the notch removed right now you can see on the iphone 15 pro max you have this notch removed you only have a little dynamic island that will probably be the case on all the iphone 15 models like not only the pros i honestly feel like that's a pretty big upgrade because having the dynamic island instead of the notch it's like it's really good and once you get used to it you won't be able to go back and then the rumor is that apple's gonna start using a USB-C output for the iphones which would make charging and just connecting to other devices so much easier instead of having to always bring your iphone charger and a few years ago apple didn't want to do this because they wanted people to use their iphone chargers because that made them more money obviously but now today everyone's just using wireless chargers and different chargers kind of anyways oh okay and i'm just now reading rumored colors for the iphone 15 models are blue coral shade white black and green slash yellow but it seems like they're also maybe doing a pink color. No, but I've actually been wanting a pink iPhone for the longest time. I don't get the green yellow because that would be like a lime. And then another rumor is that the iPhone 15 is gonna have frosted glass. So right now standard models have a glossy back, only the pro models have a frosted back. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max and it has more of a matte finish instead of a glossy, which I think it gives the impression of more fancy or expensive options. So, so if they wanted to upgrade the regular models this would actually be a pretty good move okay and then what i'm most excited for since i'm probably getting the iphone 15 pro max is the camera and it's rumored to have a periscope lens which just makes zooming in so much better and this is something i'm actually missing from the iphone 14 pro max because right now when we have a view over sydney but it's pretty far away sometimes i want to zoom in like take videos and pictures because it looks really cool but the iphone is like it's not holding up for zooming in that much like you can zoom in two to three times without reducing quality but that's it Oh, and then a rumor I think could definitely happen is that Apple's gonna remove the SIM tray. They did this in the US 
but not in Europe or or I think just the rest of the world. So this iPhone I bought in Sweden and it still has the SIM tray, but my boyfriend got his in the US and it doesn't have this. So yeah, I think they will definitely extend to like more countries doing this. But yeah, I guess those are the main rumors. But yeah, we'll know in just a few days on September 12th. Yeah, so let me know in the comments if, if you plan on ordering an iPhone 15. Also, right now I'm wearing my merch. I have a bunch of new designs on my website, so definitely go check that out. They're super comfy and minimalistic. I love them. This one's actually inspired by Sydney. You can see it says Sid23. So yeah, I would love for you to match with me. So if you get anything, please DM me on Instagram or just comment anywhere. But that's it for now. I will see you guys next week for iPhone 15 launch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.